recognize a psychophant. A psychophant is someone who is excessively and pretentiously flattering. They are people who will insincerely flatter a person of higher authority, nag them to no end, bully juniors, and do whatever they can for personal gain. Psychophants praise or commend every action of their boss because they'd rather speak a lie and still be in their favorable book than speak the truth. They are pretentious. Richard Steele, an Irish writer, playwright, and politician said, whenever you commend, add your reasons for doing so. It is this which distinguishes the approbation of a man of sense from the flattery of psychophants and admiration of fools. When psychophants have things to gain from you, they become your yes-men, feeding you with every unnecessary information that they think you need to know so that you'll refer to them as being loyal, when in the real sense, they are only after what they can get from you. In this video, I'll share with you how to recognize a psychophant. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number one, they are excessively sweet. Psychophants know how to make people feel good by excessively sweet-talking them so that they can get all their demands. They do this in an attempt to make you feel obligated to grant their demands. The truth is, they are least concerned about you or even care about you. But they act so sweet because they have something, most of the time it's authority or power or position that you have, that they want to use to their advantage. Check them out. They usually try to get close to their boss or their leaders in any gathering or organization. Their extra sweet behavior gives them an edge that they are better than everyone else and that their demands must be fulfilled first. An Italian proverb says, he that flatters you more than you desire either has deceived you or wishes to deceive you. Number two, they act like they're loyal. First things first, they are not loyal. They put on a loyal face when they want to get their job done. And if you are useful to them in any way, they'll always protect you and shield you all the time. So much that you mistake it for their loyalty. Once their job is done, it's goodbye. Worse still, if they find out that you are not useful to them, they will dump you like a hot potato. Remember what we said about them? They are only with you because you are useful to them to help make things work in their direction. Once you stop being useful to them, or once someone else takes up your position or someone more superior to you comes on board, they'll ditch you as if you were never a part of their life. Do you know why? It's because contrary to what you thought or assumed, they were never loyal to you in the first place. Instead, they were loyal to the position. Number three, they spread rumors a lot. Psychophants love gossip and spread rumors. As a matter of fact, they are possessed with the dirty habit of digging out the most personal information, twisting facts and spreading them across like wildfire. There's no telling how far they're willing to go to work their way to their benefit. Number four, they talk unnecessarily. Yes, we all love to talk and communicate so that our voice is heard and our opinion and suggestions will be considered, especially at our workplace. The last thing we want to look like is a figurehead. However, in the case of psychophants, they are unnecessarily talkative. They blab a lot just to grab attention. They'll make sure that every room they enter, they make their presence known or felt, even if it means raising their voices to indicate that they are one of the outgoing, cool personalities who deserve attention. They are attention seekers and they believe the world must revolve around them, which is why they go about announcing their presence and blabbing incessantly everywhere they go. While you might not be able to determine people's character and habits, you can avoid moving close to people like this. They can be vicious when challenged or confronted. One would do best to avoid and evade at every possibility. Accept no favor and do not allow them to ingratiate themselves with you. Your back will never be covered, especially if there is nothing in it for them. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.